Good evening, everyone. I'm Carmine Jume. When it comes to sports, some naturally get more attention than others. For us, it's usually poke football. But possibly the best athlete at UW is on the track and field team. If you watch the show, you've heard her name plenty of times. Senior long jumper Jayla Henderson. She's the champion at indoor and outdoor triple jump in the conference. And she just earned the Mountain West Field Athlete of the Week award. Don't think she can do much better. She's won both the long jump and the triple jump in both meets this season. Makes sense because Jayla's got both the best long jump and the best triple jump marks in the Mountain West Conference right now. She's at 42 feet 4 inches for the triple jump and 20 feet 7 inches for the long jump. That's farther than jumping from the high school three-point line to the baseline. Outrageous. And she's only 5 foot 3. And another reason to celebrate our Wyoming athletes today is poke diver C.J. Harris. She just earned the Mountain West Diver of the Week award. And good for her, she's a senior and it's her first time winning it. Plus, C.J.'s a good old Wyoming girl from Gillette. In the one-meter dive against Boise State over the weekend, she scored a season-high 278.85 to earn nine points for the pokes. C.J.'s going to make the state proud again at UNLV on Saturday. And speaking of college athletes, today three Riverton girls made history. They became the first players ever to sign to play soccer at Central Wyoming College. There you see head soccer coach Brooks Basket surrounded by his first soccer players in history. That's Elliot Stafford, Madison Pantle, and Evelyn Bach. You might know this coming fall is going to be the first year for the men's and women's soccer programs at Central Wyoming. And right now, Paskett is the head coach of both teams. Here's Elliot Stafford on making history with her friends. I think that is super cool. I think it'll be good for me to have friends that I already know and teammates that I already know. Um, It'll be a less awkward for me to get into the college situation, um, be around new girls, even maybe foreigners, people who I've never seen. Whoever we have on the team, I'm super excited to be able to be around friends. From history being made to good times being had. Opening night of the dart season for the Neshrona County Darting Association. Twelve teams competing in two divisions at six bars all over Casper. The NCDA has been around since 1979, and you might know there's a huge darting community in Wyoming. I went to the Black and Gold Grill tonight for the matchup between Pure Poison and the Dart Dudes. You see all these guys are into it. They told me it's much more about the camaraderie than it is about the competition. And you see Teddy there pumped up. He's a faithful K2 viewer. Most of these fellows grew up together in Casper. And I had to ask, what does it take to be good at darts? It's not unlike golf. It's not unlike uh, bowling. The more that you can repeat the same stroke over and over again, uh, and then just stand up and play people. The just probably like a lot of other sports, the best way to, to get good at darts is to find people that just beat you all the time. We've known each other forever. I mean, all of us have thrown each other for a really long time, and beating each other is really fun. So yeah, I get you pumped. If you beat them, it's fun. If you lose, it's okay. Well, no, it's never okay to lose. And just like Rick said, you never want to lose to your buddies. What a great bunch of guys with the Natrona County Darting Association. And thanks to them for letting me hang out and appreciate a very cool sport. And staying in Casper, the T-Bird basketball teams are headed to Torrington tomorrow. Their men and women play at Eastern Wyoming. The women at 5.30, men at 7.30. For the women, it's a big-time sub-region 9 matchup. The Eastern Wyoming Lancers are 15-4. The Casper College Lady T-Birds are also 15-4. But Eastern's on a downswing, losing their last three. While Casper's on the upswing, 5-0 in the sub-region and on a seven-game winning streak. And guys, big baseball news today. Yankees pitcher Mariano Rivera, the all-time MLB saves leader, just became the first ever unanimous selection to the Baseball Hall of Fame. All right, a lot of sports tonight, Carmen. I know, lots of great stuff. All right, thank you. We'll be right back after the break.